Hello there, it's Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astrumorologist. Welcome to your weekly astro numerology forecast, where we look at the stars and numbers codes coming up for the next week. And this weekly forecast is for all signs. It covers both the astrology and numerology highlights of the week. And this is the week of July 19th through the 25th. And so the first highlight this week actually happens on Thursday, July 22nd, which is a master number of the architect of peace. And then the whole date adds up to 16, which is the number of listening to your intuitive downloads. So important in order to help you navigate through all the complexities of your life. Now, Venus is opposite Jupiter today, and these are the two benefics in astrology. So they help you to celebrate and enjoy yourself. And this is just such a wonderful time of the month anyway. We are coming smack in the middle of summer in the Northern Hemisphere, and this is right before the weekend. And so there is a sense of celebrating, enjoying yourself, luxuriating in whatever, you know, fun activity you like to do, anything that's pleasurable. And you won't really feel much like getting a lot of work done during this time. It's really about play and being playful and affectionate and loving and also socializing. So this is a time to take a holiday break if you can. And the next highlight happens the day later, actually, and that is the full moon in Aquarius, happening on the 23rd of July, Friday. And that's the royal star of the lion number of courage and leadership and freedom. And then it creates a date, a universal date of 17, which is the immortality number. So it's an incredible code, really amazing. And universal time, it actually happens on July 24th. That is the full moon in Aquarius. And for more on that full moon, just go to my website, tanyagabrielle.com. I have a whole star code podcast on it, which you can watch there. So just briefly, the sun and moon will be at one degrees, sun and Leo at one degrees, moon and Aquarius at one degrees, and obviously opposite each other because it's a full moon. And the sun creates a quincunx, which is a 150 degree connection to Jupiter. And so this is really a nice aspect in that it basically shows you that to the core, nothing is going to be able to stop you. Everything is lined up, you know, this is Leo, Sun in Leo. So everything is synchronized in an effortless way. You feel fortunate through Jupiter and there are many opportunities for success and positive outcomes and financial gains can increase as well. Service to others, your outlook on life is very, very optimistic. Mercury trines Neptune as well. And this is very important because it enhances your imagination. It spiritualizes your mind. It helps you immerse in activities that allow your mind to wander and go into that place of mystery and magic. And it also helps with nonverbal communication. So your extrasensory gifts can be utilized in a big way. There's also Venus opposite Jupiter, which we covered for the previous day. This is activated, of course, during the full moon as well. Mars opposite Jupiter is also in play, and this gives you a lot of energy, and you can begin something. There's a whole sense of starting, taking a desire, and making positive decisions and moving forward. And Saturn sextiles Chiron, and that helps you with feeling good, feeling secure, feeling healthy, feeling healed. So again, for more on the full moon, go to my website, tanyagabrielle.com. And to discover your own star code, go to blueprintclass.com, where you can use your birthday, your birth certificate name to discover your life purpose, your destiny, and so much more. We go into the astrology as well, and it's just a really exciting masterclass. Again, it's free. You get a handout. You can learn about yourself, learn about others, have more compassion for others as a result. Just go to blueprintclass.com. Have an amazing week, and I'll see you in next week's forecast. <music>